Zero to Hero, a series of videos showcasing Cisco's ability to deliver zero trust without complexity. The videos were developed from the Zero Trust Workshop created by the Cisco Security Organization. This first series is going to be focused on streamlining the user experience. So we have been tasked with implementing Zero Trust for Zero Trusty widgets and have chosen to deploy Secure Access by Duo to enhance the security of users accessing applications and resources. So in this module, we're gonna do a couple of things, right? We're gonna do, I think you can go through and do some customization around logos. We're not gonna really showcase this in this series, um, but that's certainly part of the workshop. There's some integration that's gonna certainly take place. We're gonna be manually enrolling uh, both Bob and Karen in Duo MFA uh, to mitigate risk against credential-based attacks. We're gonna enhance the user experience with single sign-on using Duo Access Gateway. And this is going to provide a consistent login experience. We're going to establish policies around corporate managed devices and automatically deploying certificates through on-premise Active Directory domain, providing seamless access to SaaS or cloud-based applications. And we're going to ensure devices have appropriate hygiene prior to access. So this is going to be the dual health checking um, uh, posturing component that's gonna look for firewall status and operating system versions, um, as well as other things that you might wanna look for. So let's dig into this specific section. So this is trusted endpoints. We're gonna look at this feature, uh, which secures your sensitive applications uh, by ensuring that only known devices can access dual protected applications and resources. When a user authenticates via Duo, uh, prompt will check the presence of dual device certificate on that endpoint. You can monitor access to your applications from devices with and without dual certificate and optionally block access from devices without the dual certificate. So some greater control there. Before enabling the trusted endpoint policy on your applications, you'll need to deploy the dual device certificate to your managed devices. So this task is gonna walk through the elements that are involved here. Active Directory and Group Policy will be separate. They do have instructions on how to do that. We're gonna focus on Duo Certificate Proxy. So there's a nice diagram here that kind of showcases the flow where you got the main user, the client, you got the Duo uh, Certificate Proxy, you've got the Duo Cloud CA and the device um, certificate as well as obviously um, tight integration there with Active Directory uh, domain services. So let's get started. Let's go into trusted endpoint configuration. We talk about why here. We go into configuration management. Active Directory domain services is really what we want to focus on. Number one is already done and we're not going to do number three. We're really focused on number two. Let's go ahead and copy that secret key. We can also download the dual certificate proxy MSI, which we've already done this. So let's go ahead and do the installation. It talks about the rights needed um, for the installation to be successful. Let's copy that secret key in. Here we're gonna use short-lived certificates. So these are only gonna be valid for one week. The more sensitive the application, maybe the more um, short-lived the certificate. Um, in this case, we're gonna use the one week for our application. We'll select the groups of users that are gonna be able to do the enrollment, and then we're gonna trust the dual root. This is specific to GPOs re requiring strong validation during enrollment. Um, and so you, we also need the root certificate um, as well to be installed. So there's the summary. We'll go ahead and hit confirm and exit, and that's it. That's all you have to do on the um, duo certificate proxy uh, side of the fence. And the last thing we need to do is come in here and hit activate and bam, we're ready to roll. That's the first part of getting this up and running for that seamless user experience.